Hi, I'm Frederick at Dab Lab LLC and welcome to our home mycology series. Today we're going to be harvesting the antler reishi bag kit to see how many mushrooms we can pull out of a five pound block of supplemented sawdust. You can make these kits yourself following the videos on our channel and ordering the Ganoderma multipillium liquid culture. This is a great species for forming antler formations uh, in the bag. The bag creates a high CO2, high humidity environment that this species really enjoys. It will produce plates with spores if you put it into a fruiting chamber and expose it to fresh air and oxygen and appropriate humidity levels. But you also introduce the risk of contaminating either the fruits or the mushroom culture itself. So this way you have a kit that without any tools, experience, or knowledge, you can let sit on the counter and enjoy watching the antlers grow. And uh, eight to 10 weeks after the date year of inoculation, you should be ready to harvest your antlers. Of course, you can adjust that time based on the height you want your antlers at harvest, and uh, you'll also have to adjust that time based on the ambient conditions at your home, mainly temperature. Other factors that may influence when you want to harvest your antlers uh, might be exactly how much grain it got and how colonized the grain was, how active. It's not an exact science. This has been going for three months and you can see it's a little bit too long because the antlers are growing against the sides of the bag looking for fresh air. This is not going to affect the flavor or nutrition, especially for an extraction, but it will affect the look if you're trying to preserve some nice looking antlers for your arts and crafts project. So without further ado, Let's open this bag and harvest it. We're gonna be using a pair of heavy duty titanium coated scissors. I would recommend a clean pair of garden shears because the curved knife will be better at grabbing the antlers, but we're gonna see how well I can do with this knife here. So to expose the antlers, we are just cutting around the base, just above the culture level. There is some liquid here to watch out for. This is extra moisture in the culture and the excrement, a waste product of containing metabolites and antibiotics produced by the mushroom. Nothing wrong with it, but watch out that you don't spill it. You might want to drain it. You can cut the top corner of the bag pour it over a sink if you need to. Once the bag is cut, you can pull it free. Of course, the mushroom is grabbing onto it in a few places. That's okay. Just carefully work it up. And you can expose these beautiful Rishi antlers. Look at that. That's great. So now to harvest, just one at a time. Come over, clip them off close to the base. Some of them are grabbing onto each other. That's okay. Just work your way around. And 
get them all. As you get a few of these cool antlers out, it'll open up, be a lot easier. Grab a few more. And you can see they're holding kind of top and center there quite all right. We're going to actually extract these and dry these. Dry them for extraction. It won't be a problem. But there we have it. One antler bag kit. Let's see how much they weigh approximately. And with the one that fell on the floor, one pound, 2.4 ounces. Move this one out looks really cool we're going to dry it and maybe make a decoration so one pound almost two and a half ounces out of one bag of course we're going to dry this and get a lot of the moisture out the weight will go down significantly I'll try to update you with the finished dry weight if i can and uh let's go ahead and try to get the next bag. Sure. 
trick is to get your scissors between the culture and the bag. culture. And this one isn't quite as thick, so it should be easier to harvest. Again, we're just cutting them off just above the base, the mycelial block, to get the whole antler is the fruit body formation we're looking for. go. Grab this little one for good measure. Harvested the second Rishi bag kit. So I'll update you with the dry weights. That way you have an idea of what your bag can be expected to produce, whether you get it from me or you make it yourself using the methodology and materials and strain that I've suggested. Now, when you're done, the top of your block might look like this. That's okay. Try not to drop too much water. You can bury it in the soil, let it fruit again. You can put it into your fruiting chamber, which is what we're gonna do until I get a chance to bury it in the garden. And to dry these, we'll make another video. You might want to chop them into smaller pieces and then dry them, pack them away in an airtight container for later extraction. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, please like, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. What do you use? I do think the garden shears would have been much better, but these scissors did do the trick with a little bit of patience. And I'll also put in the video description below the current places that you can buy these kits and links to the store. Thank you. Happy mushroom farming.